In this video, you will learn the different ways in which a batsman can be dismissed. In cricket, there are several ways for a batsman to lose their wicket. Here are some of the more common ways to get dismissed. If the bowler's delivery manages to hit the batsman's wicket and knock down the bails, the batsman is bowled out. If a batsman hits the ball and it is caught by a player from the fielding side before it hits the ground, the batsman is caught out. When the batsman steps out of their crease to play the ball, the wicket keeper, who stands behind the stumps, can knock down the bails with the ball in hand and get the batsman stumped out. To be safe, the batsman must have some part of themselves or their bat behind the crease while the ball is in play. If the batsman hits the wicket with their own body or bat, whether by accident or on purpose, they are out, hit wicket. When the bowler bowls a straight delivery that is in the right line and length to hit the wicket, but the batsman's pads are in the way, the bowler can appeal for a leg before wicket, or LBW, if the umpire agrees that the ball would have hit the stumps. When the two batsmen are running between the stumps to score runs, if a fielder manages to knock down the bails before the batsman running towards their wicket reaches the crease, then the batsman is run out. The batsman can also retire out due to injury, illness, or any other unavoidable circumstance. In this case, the batsman may resume their innings with the consent of the opposite captain. Keep playing cricket to get a better understanding of the game. Enjoy your game!